Okay, it's beer o'clock, a gallery, a, 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 a guide. Yeah, we're still here, we're still here, we're being For the 12th For the 12th today. Period. I can't even get my intro right now. <laughs> um, I'm joined by Peter the Master of Hobbits and Real Lady 140. Evening. And we're going to be doing a Debock Blonde, repackaged as Waitrose Belgium Blonde. At £1.34 a bottle. Yeah. This is one of the best value beers on the market I think. That is moment. very cheap for a build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's worth looking at because we are in 2013, we are in the sixth year of a terrible downturn and you I think you have to kind of look at beers which you can session during the week where you want flavour yeah. at £1.34 a bottle. So, so we're going to give this beer a look. Then again, it's six point three percent alcohol, so session. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe not oh, session. But um, let's get this beer in the glass. Stand back and let you guys carry on. Uh, oh, let's see. I can't crack this on camera. Whoa, this one is this one is crazy. Almost. <laughs> That's almost crazy. Let's get Simon's in there. I like how it's too tall to fit in the frame. <laughs> So Chris, you've had this beer on a number of occasions. This I is your kind of a weekly week. session uh, beer. At one point, one pound thirty-four. I find it rude actually to to just not drink it mm. uh, for fun. Actually, okay, it's a cracking beer. I, I think what we want to think is review it. I mean, what what does that work out in Krona, Peter? One pound thirty-four. A wow, it's only ten kroners a bottle. Wow, that is cheap. Yeah, that is cheap for craft beer. Yeah. About ten. Uh, it's a little more, but still. Brasserie de Bock, you know, it's a renowned brewery uh, for that kind of money. It's, oh, a, wow, that's it's an unable supermarket brand. Colour. Hazy nice, golden nail. Wide, hazy golden nail. Yeah. Gold what you'd expect from, head, from a Belgian blonde. blonde. Yeah. It's exactly what you'd want from a Belgian blonde. Yeah. Dig our noses into it? Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Cheers. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm banana, getting a lovely banana yesterday. It reminds me of apple porridge or apple pudding. I think we're yeah. about no, to... apple sauce. Apple sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're back to where we were a couple of hours ago. Yeah, banana. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... A little bit of spice, fruity mm. esters. Mm. Like peppery. It's lovely. Doughy, yeah. bready. I really like that apple sauce like aroma. That smells pretty good. And it's 6.4%. 6. Yeah. 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 6.3. 6.3. Yeah, it's... I reckon we should just get in these little yeah. nice bubbles. Right, Give it a taste. Uh, okay. Chin chin chaps. Cheers guys. And chin chin. Ooh. And school. Yeah. School. And this is probably before we taste, or you guys carry on taste, I'm going to talk. Um, Peter has made his way all the way from Denmark. Um, carry on drinking me. I'll, 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 I'll talk. Um, Peter has made his way all the way from Denmark. Um, this will be our final beer review in the kitchen of the Real Guy with, with Chris and Peter. Um, we really have had a great time with Peter over the last few days. It's, it's been, been a really, really fun meeting really up, Simon. It's been a fun time. Um, Chris came to Cardiff. We all went out. We had a good time. Yeah, it, it's great. So, anyway, back to the beer. I just wanted to say a quick thank you awesome. to Peter for coming. Let's go. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's brilliant. So what, what and cheers like, to the Celtic experience for what, yeah. doing with them. What I like about this one is it's not overly complicated. No, it's more of a simple blonde. Both blondes are not as complicated as triples and Belgian strong blonde ales, mm -hmm. of course. But it's got a nice amount of it. Yeah, I mean, what we're doing Sorry is... Sorry for interrupting. No, I think what we're trying yeah, to do right. here is, is we were discussing off camera what you guys drink in the week when you're not reviewing beer. And, and this would be something which... You would be happily in a recession, prepared to be. Oh, not even not in a recession. I'm not saying it's a recession beer. I think I'm just getting myself all tied up here. So I'll hand over to Chris. <laughs> it's a beer, and for the price, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, you can, yeah. And, and much as we are all advocates of this, you should go to your, your local beer shop. You should go to um, what's the, the 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 beer shop in Cardiff? CF Twenty Four. Yeah, oh. the bottle shop in Cardiff. You should go to your local bottle shop. You should go to favourite beers in Cheltenham, and you should locate the good beers. This actually is a supermarket version of the good what beer. is actually a good beer. They've labelled it with their own thing for Waitrose. Waitrose have a good good habit of making yeah. good things happen to good yeah. stuff. It's come from Brasserie de Block, so we know about them. We know that it's a good product. Yeah. This this is a quality product, and for one pound thirty four, 
if you're looking for something on a little bit of a cheap scale to yeah, to session. Yeah, to session. If I could get this in Denmark, I'd buy it. Yeah, or and it's to, exactly or to, what we're saying. Or to turn over to your friends, so you're going to have dinner one night, or, or you're staying in for dinner one night, and they're all coming around, and you want to look a little bit flash. Yeah. This will make you look like that way. And I really like that applesauce like flavor in there. It's it's good. Yeah. And then citrus, lemony, you know, it's a little bit of spice. It's good. Yeah, very, very kind of. It's not watery, it's full of flavor. To be honest, it's I think. Very it's, refreshing. Yeah, I think it's got more flavor than the Leffe Blonde. The liver, which is, you know, it'd it be in the wrong way. Yeah. No, I think for me, I don't, I'd call this, well, I, I, I can wrap this up in three words and I'd be, or maybe four words. It's a Call of Duty beer. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, you've done your, your, you've done your hard day, you want something nice and refreshing, you whack in the fridge, you want to play on the computer, the Xbox, you want a game. You put this down, yeah, exactly. It's a kind of an Xbox kind of Call of Duty, yeah. Some may drink Mountain Dew when they play their consoles. Well, the beer reviewers, we, we drink, drink beer. <laughs> Belgium blonde ales. Yes. Yeah, I like, oh, yes. I like this. I like this. I can see myself putting down a Claymore and get myself settled with my sniper and, and, and left the yeah, and left the guy who dies. <laughs> <laughs> In your face, guy who died. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. After it's yeah. just it's just a good it's a good beer to session um, during the week or maybe on the weekend. I'm going to a party. I might take I might ask Chris if I can take a bottle of it to mm. to, to to a party later on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's a good beer, and it is. Um, I'm going to give it a probably give it a, a seven out of ten. Would I be fair to say seven out of ten? I would think completely the same thing. Oh, on your scale seven, I was thinking uh, seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five. I mean, it's in the nice, good territory. Yeah, it's good. It's not good. too much complexity, but um, it's, it, not it, it, it's not no, Carlin. It's not. No, and it, it, it's got more complexity than your boring ass lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring ass lagers. Yeah. yeah. Popsy Mac lagers, that's Terry That's would one, say, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it's priced so well. So yeah, if I could get this in Denmark, well, that would be one of the beers I. Yeah, drink give, give it in the UK that you can pick up uh, a can lager for a quid from a Lidl, mm. and, and it's a decent lager, it's a German lager. For one pound thirty-four, you can pick up this. Mm. This is streets ahead. Yeah. yeah, and if you have any kind of interest in keeping your palate viable for anything else, yeah, good. Yeah, a good another good point. Another good point. Yeah. Then th this is the way you want to go. I mean, we might be rambling a little now because we are also on beer review twelve. But well, beer review twelve, rating out of twelve, rating out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just shouted at my wife for the second time. Um, <laughs> rating out of ten, I'm here for an eight. Eight out of ten. Good beer, great beer, smashing. Um, it's been great to have Chris. It's been great to have Peter in the kitchen. And Jakob, who's sleeping. Jakob, Jakob sleeping. is broken. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a broken man. He broke him yesterday. He couldn't handle the Vikings yeah, and we, the Celts. We all managed it. We all managed. But, yeah. but Jakob's a lovely guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm drunk now. He's just um, broken. Yeah, it's okay. He's just he's just broken. Jakob's yeah. sleeping. Um, I'm gonna drag him out to another night out tonight because I'm too drunk to go to bed now. <laughs> now this was the um, this was the Brasserie de Brock. Brasserie de Brock. Blonde Ale. Lovely. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And he's. <laughs> <laughs> and cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs>